Hey everybody, this is Paul, and today we're going to have some fun with grafting with dragon fruit and cactus. So we saw this online, there's several methods, and uh, we had this root stock that kind of has some damage here. You can see something got into it, and it's rotting, it's been a lot of rain. So I'm just going to cut this flat, do a flat uh, horizontal graft, and I'm going to try to graft this little guy here that Scott brought over. Do you know the variety, Scott? <laughs> no. So some little cactus, we think it's going to work and we're just gonna explore with this and see what we can graft. So here we go. So um, first I, I am hoping this is a very mature cutting so hopefully this will cut through the stem uh, easily. But we'll find out. So I'm cutting below that rot. Yep, that thing, this thing's sharp man. So there we go. And this probably would prop propagate still but I'm, I think we're gonna toss it. I don't need it. And this is an unknown variety. So again, I want to now make sure I get a nice straight cut here. And for the horizontal graft, I'm going to cut it one more time, kind of right where this thorn was. Hopefully there's some energy in that direction. And I want to be really careful not to cut myself. So I just make sure I get a nice, flat, clean layer. I used alcohol on these. All, everything was clean properly. That's very important with grafting is having a clean setup. So now I'm going to take this plant and cut it really straight again something like this and I know it's not straight enough so I'm gonna cut it a little better there and so there you can see that so there is uh, the cambium layer where the cells div divide multiply the growth layer and these guys are more forgiving than say dragon fruit so you can see a succulents or a cacti like that and you just want to connect any of this white growing flesh with this part here, which is the stem of the cambium layer, the dragon fruit. So basically we want to have a nice connection. So before we do that, I saw online that they did this to support the um, rubber bands. And I thought this was a good idea, especially with this hardy cutting. So this should be plenty of support for the graft. And now we're going to just get a nice connection and rubber band it down and hopefully it should be as simple as that again this is just an experiment we saw online we're gonna have some fun with it and see if it takes so make sure you get a nice tight <laughs> uh oh don't do that it's a little bit harder than i thought so uh, since that happened i'm gonna cut this again in case something got contaminated and quickly you can see that tying it down is gonna be the hardest part you might have to double band them, huh? Well, I think I want to rubber band it on each side at the same time. So I saw them online where they kind of had, I mean, some people right, do Right, you need this. Where they're really support slick. Support from both sides and but pull. Kind of that counterweight. Yeah, counter. See, counterbalance. Counterbalance. So let's see if this works a bit better. Okay, I'm just going to use several rubber bands for this and see how it works. See, all right, we do have a connection there. Harder than I thought, but as long as we get a nice tight connection with the rubber bands, I'm going to spend some time probably getting this nice and tight. And as long as it doesn't pop up, it should be good to go. So, probably just this should be the last one. It's on there. Still need to bring bring it tighter. Probably should have put the um, bamboo pieces. In retrospect, I should have put them lower onto the root stock. But this rubber band, that should be the last one to keep it nice and tight. Ass yes, trial and error, man. All right, so Next we're going to keep it on there. And there. One more rubber band, just to be sure. really want to get a tight one more piece there. how long do you have to keep it rubber banded um I would probably leave it on for maybe a month I don't think it's gonna harm it but at least two weeks but I'm gonna leave this on until I really see that it's on there firmly so again now it's got a nice firm connection again I probably could have done this much neater um, I also have seen people use grafting with uh, super glue so we're going to explore that in the future, um, but what they do is you want to buy the, the kind that has a brush and then you want to brush on the outside 
to to bind the two. You don't want to connect them like you would traditionally with super glue, but they brush right. it on the outside. Um, so we'll give that a shot. Um, we'll see what happens with this. I'm going to keep it in the garage this time of year. It's cold in the winter, so um, that way it will have a better chance at success. All right, give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming, and we have plenty more graphing experiments in the future.